Hi everyone, uh, Phil from 3DP UK. Um, been a while since I've uploaded a video and we're back to the Anycubic Cobra Max, but this time um, we have some good news. So the Anycubic brand has finally released um, the firmware. Um, so this has been released to the community and um, I myself have been unable to sort of make any changes, but I have um, friends that have now been able to make some changes to the firmware to enable um some extra things that we can do so for instance the baby steps now we hopefully be able to go to 0 0.01 rather than 0 0.05 um as the community knows that that wasn't that great to make sort of adjustments for um better adhesion or just for basically um to en enable us to make um, better changes so having this um is obviously going to help We've also um, got junction deviation and uh, we have the linear enabled. Also um, M600 should work and also the M107 and the M108. These are the load and unload commands for colour changes. So um, with this new firmware we should be able to do this as well. Um, so currently um, my system, so if you click on system here um, and then about, so these are all the machine details. So as you can see, it's the Anycubic Cobra Max today, and we are currently at Cobra Max version 2.8.6. Um, and then the build vol volume is 400 by 400 by 450. Um, like I say, we're gonna be making a firmware uh, update today. Um, so the file that's been sent over from Studio Zombie 3D, and that's Will, he has kindly given me um, his modified version. Um, he does, a lot for the community for Anycubic, so he's worked on um, all of the uh, firmware changes for the Viper and the Cobra and stuff like that. So definitely head over to his channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description, head over to his channel, like and subscribe, but also like and subscribe to my channel as well, uh, 3DP UK. Um, all the likes and the subscriptions really help with us to bring more videos to the community. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do today is uh, update the firmware. Um, like I say, with the um, ability to have a smaller baby step. So what, what you'll see, um, so if we go to prepare, um, to have a quick look to see um, what our current leveling is. So if you click on leveling and Z offset, you'll see here that you can only go up in um, 0 0.005 increments. Um, but hopefully, with this firmware update, um, we should be able to do 0 0.01, which um, I'm sure everyone would be pleased with because obviously a lot of the 3D printers out on the market now have that ability. So this is this should improve um, the Cobra Max even more. Um, so what I need to do, because this is a bin file that's been sent over to me, it's already been uh, pre-compiled to be um, instantly put into the hard drive at the front so or into the motherboard sorry um so i've already taken out my sd card and uh over to the next video of um downloading the file from um zombie 3d studio and um extracting it out and putting it onto the sd card and then flashing it onto the uh any cubic cobra max um one thing to note you have two sd card slots so you've got the screen and the motherboard, but today we're not updating the screen. This is purely the firmware for the motherboard. Um, so don't put it in here, it won't work. Um, you put it into your SD card slot for your prints. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give it a go. And like I say, currently we are um, firmware Cobra Max V2.8.6. So head over to the next part of the video and we will see what happens with the update. Take care. Okay, so if you um, extract the file that's in the link in the comment section, this will open up the box with the firmware. It's a .bin file, so it's already ready and been compiled, so you can add that straight onto the SD card. So we're gonna move that over onto the SD card. And, um, yep. So onto here, I'm just going to save it in here as well for, for future use and then over onto my SD card now and drop into there and that will just plug and play straight into the SD card. 
Okay, so as you see in the earlier part of the um, video, um, we're going to do an update. So the current um, firmware is V2.8.6 and we're going to update it with the um, new firmware using the SD card. Um, it's a micro SD card as you'll know, so um, I've added that as you see in the re uh, the previous video, to, or part of the video, sorry. Um, we have now put the firmware, it's a .bin file, so it's ready to be um, flashed. Um, so what you want to do is turn off the machine, and once the machine has gone off, we're going to put the SD card in the slot. Like so, wait for the click, and then what we're going to do is turn on the machine, like so. So it's going to run through the boot. So normally it would have come up, so you can hear that bleeping. So that's currently updating the firmware. And if we go over to here, you'll see that it now says a Zombie Max V1.8. So that's Will from Studio Zombie 3D who has kindly sent over this um, firmware update. Um, fantastic job. Now what we want to do, now that we've gone uh, gone through the, um, the setup procedure, very simple, download the files that I'm going to share the link with you with um, uh, from Will. Um, remember, like and subscribe to his channel, but also like, to, like and subscribe to mine. Um, so we're going to check now that we can um, make those smaller changes. So we go to prepare. As you can see now, uh, so we've got filament in, um, and then we go to leveling, Z offset, you can now do in um, 0.2. Okay, so that was, um, so obviously once you've done the firmware or update, um, it's really important to do a, a bed re-level. Um, and what I noticed during this, um, let's turn the motor off and bring this forward. So as you'll know, um, it did a 25 point leveling touch all around the bed before the firmware update. Um, I noticed um, I probably got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's doing seven across now and it's doing one, two, three, four, five, six seven back so there's a lot more now so it's doing seven rows of seven um that's obviously going to be giving you um a lot better point of reference for z offset and um i think that that would improve the actual adhesion across the the board and uh, the actual print quality um so that's a great improvement so great from will for that um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry out a print. Um, so I put in the SD card, I've taken the firmware off. It's always a good idea to remove the firmware just in case it corrupts it. You don't want to do that. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to do a Flexi Factory T-Rex. Um, and then we're going to have a look to see if we can make some changes to the Z offset. Um, Obviously, when you do the bed level, it leaves like these little scuzzy bits. Um, it's always a good idea to get rid of them because obviously um, they can sort of affect the print if you're not careful. So it's because it did the um, bed level uh, test, um, obviously heated up the bed and the nozzle. Um, I always um, get some pincers and uh, take away all the excess, which is coming out now. And it might be a good idea to actually run this a bit slower as well. So go down to 40 speed. Um, and as you can see, um, it's currently doing the outline. Um, and it looks like the um, Z offset is so much better at the moment. As you can see that I've got no issues with um, lifting of the um, filament. Um, yeah, like I say, it, it went straight into the print, unfortunately, so I didn't even have enough time to clean the bed, but I would say give it a quick clean, because you do get like these little knobbly bits from the uh, bed leveling. Um, okay, so now we've got the print on, as you can see, 
straight from the firmware update. I've got absolutely zero issues um, with that. Um, so we're going to move the screen down now and have a look at the um, the actual screen itself. Uh, let's try and get in a bit closer for you all. And hopefully you can all see that. So as you can see here, you can change the Z offset. Now you can change it in smaller increments. So minus and plus. Um, so what we want to try and do, if we can, so you can see it's now 0 0.01, um, which is great. Um, let's see if we can just go up. Um, so it's 0, 0.0 at the moment because I've gone plus, but if you go back again, 0, 0 0.0 minus, um, and then press OK, and then go back to it, it's 0 0.02. Um, as you all know before, we was having 0 0.05, so you can make a lot uh, better adjustments in that respect um, so we're going to go back up a bit and I've noticed though from this firmware that you don't actually see what you're going up until you press OK so you go back and it's up um, yeah so you might want to check that so I'm just checking it's uh, still going OK which it is all good looking good in that respect so yeah I've noticed that you can you don't see it until you've changed it so um, yeah so I, I'm not sure about that one um, but yeah 0 0.01 so if I go back to it 0 0.06 now so it's a bit higher so yeah, I think it's a case of making sure you're once you're happy with how high it is um, like I say, might be able to. I'll speak to Will over at Studio Zombie 3D about um, being able to actually see it changing. So if I go back to that now and then see so see it's actually changing it, but you don't visually see it until you press OK. Um, I don't think that's a major problem. Um, you shouldn't really be making too much changes to it. And yeah. So if I go back down again. You can go to that and then you'll see it's 0 0.05, which is what I pretty much used to do at that level. But what, what's ideal now is you can now do it at 0 0.01. So if I just do it once and go back to it, it's 0 0.04. If I do it once, uh, go back to it, it's now 0 0.03, as you can see. But I'm going to go up and it's 0 0.06 see what i mean now so we're getting much better um uh, the actual uh, quality of um, lifting of the z offset so i'm happy with that like i say um with this you'll have a linear advance uh, z offset and uh, a number of other additional things that you can use um, which I'll leave a link in the description um, which will show you uh, what type of things you can update on it. Uh, thanks to uh, Will from Studio Zombie 3D and uh, take care everyone, like and subscribe.